main class i hope you all are safe in home today in this session second session we are going to continue about the matters in our surroundings in the previous class we discussed about the matters in our surroundings what is mean by matter what it is made up of physical nature of the matter we discuss about that matter means what like how the living things made up of the cell like that the non living things made up of matter and then what is the physical nature of the matter like how it is that how what is the size of in that and um, how small it is and how it is moving or not and uh, how it is attracting attracting power from one one atom to another atoms that is not discussed in the last previous class session one now continuation matters in our surrounding we can see in our surroundings different types of objects are there you know that all the things all the objects not living things that is exist in a three states so that is uh, what are the three states of the matter means or uh, whatever the matter is whatever the non living things present in uh, in our surroundings in our environment that is in uh, exist in a three states so matter three states first solid second state liquid and third state gas so it is sir like one of the examining the different shape no this is like a hard thing so what are the hard things are they you know that is called solid okay then liquid so we can say the examples for the solid no example book table So these are the examples of the solid. Next is the liquid. Liquid. Can you say the example for the liquid? Water, milk, oil, and juice. These are the liquids. What are the substances? And gases. A. A is a kind of different gases. A B can say. oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and the gas so the objects we are looking in our surroundings or existing in the three states only apart from that we can see anything nothing so first the solid that is example solid means it's a it's a some of the properties that we will be explain later solid example group table and stool Liquid means what are the substances? For example, water, milk, oil, and the juice. Gas means A, oxygen, and nitrogen. So these are the three states of matter. So now we are going to see this. We are going to discuss about each one of them. That what are the solid characters? How it is? How it is? What are the shape of them? How it will be? Why we have to call that solid? So one by one we are going to see now for solid. Solid means see the the book is big. The book. This is is a shape, you know. We were not talking about the book. The chocolate is I'm showing you here. This is chocolate. It's a some of the shape of it. So the solid have the definite shape. So it will have the definite shape. That's what is a solid. And inside the solid, there are the atoms, the molecules. Bind together. That's what is very hard. This chocolate is there. It is made up of millions of atoms inside, molecules inside. This atoms will be rigid together. Then only this become to the hard thing. So the solid bits is hard naturally, and it has the definite shape, and it has the definite mass also. Mass means what? Weight. Like in our body, for example, in our body weight approximately like a fifty kg is there means so in that fifty kg all together only. I got a lot of body parts are the internal and external part. Both together the weight how much is there? No, the together is called what mass? Like that. Each and every these have the mass and the weight. So the solid has the definite shape and weight and the mass. And it can move. The solid can be moved. Those are the weightless the solid things. It can be moved from freely, move from place to the place. And these have the definite volume or definite mass also. And then compressibility. Compressibility means like the chocolate. I am pressing that. It is not at all compressed. That means it won't. It cannot be pressed. It cannot be changed. 
shape her. and the same time rubber band will take to just stretch it there because if it is stretched that means it will change its shape you know so that is what we are applying the force upon it that it will be change the shape so some of the solids can change the shape some of the solids cannot be changed the shape so the compressibility is very less for the solid why because the solids which it together with the intermolecular atoms for example this is the solid any one thing solid ball is there so inside the atoms how it will be in the molecules inside the atoms it will be rigid together like all the atoms will be tightly rigid together so like this without any space it will be tightly rigid so can't have a definite shape like this the molecules will be together will be rigid the other solid things are there that all the solid things in, inside the atoms will be rigid together like this we cannot be easily move that's what we cannot be compress it that so this is the internal structure of the solid so what are the characteristics of the solid means it has the definite shape and size and it has the weight and it cannot be able to change its shape because the atoms will be combined together the atoms will be tight rigid tightly and then it it will it will be more depending on the weight of the objects so that are the, the, the solid characteristics next is the liquid example that i told you water milk or juice compared to the solid liquids how the liquids inside the atoms will be loosely rigid that means for example water is there water Can you say the what is the shape of the water? No, no. So the liquid, the water, the liquid don't have definite shape. Why? Me? Wherever they are keeping the liquid, water, liquid, or it is taking the in that shape of that. For example, water bottle if they are keeping the water, it will be take the water bottle shape. The ball if they are keeping the water, the ball shape will be take. So that's what if the molecules are not rigid together inside the molecule, inside this will be. Percent. So you can see that in between the gaps, you know, the molecules will be easily moved. So that's what if you pour the water, the water cannot be stable in the one place. It can automatically move because of the molecules not rigid tightly. It has the space in between the molecules. This is the water. So the water don't have the definite shape, but it has the definite volume. It has the weight. For example, if you can measure this one hundred ml of water, means It might be the hundred ml only will be present in us. So the water have the volume, and it cannot change the. It can change the shape how much. Wherever they are keeping, for I told you know the example in the bowl effect it means bowl shape will be. The container effect it means the container shape will be. The pot effect it means the pot shape will be. Again. So there is no definite shape of the water, and then it can move easily. Why? The reason is the atoms of the molecules is. Not rigid together, binded together. It has the in between the gap space between them. So water molecules will be easily moved around that. So you can see the river also can see no water how it will be fastly flowing there. In the water also you can see how it will be fastly moving. Even though in the ocean and the um, seas and all, how it will keep on moving that. So inside the water molecules, the space between them, that's what it can easily move. Compared to the solid, the liquid will be move fastly. Next, next state of the matter is gas. We can see what we are breathing oxygen. We are outlet the carbon dioxide. Like that, so many gases we can see in the outside atmosphere. So in a, the air is mixed of the different kinds of gases. For example, oxygen and nitrogen. So here, gas don't have the definite shape. We can see, we can feel only the air, but we cannot see the shape of the gas. But in the cylinder, in the cylinder, we can see. Don't think of that the shape of the gas. That is where we are keeping the like how the liquid, no, where we are keeping that shape. Like that, we don't have the definite shape for the gas. But it's a the fixed volume. We can make measure the volume of the gases and compressibility is uh, more compared to the solid and the liquid. We can easily compress the gas by means here inside the gas we will move for molecules are very loosely packed that. For example, balloon in, in, inside the balloon, we put the blue air. Here, 
to the paper only for gas. So this is the states of matter and able to change its state from one state to the another state. How it really happen? What the reason to change the states of the matter is temperature. The main reason is temperature. What will happen in the temperature? This is in the temperature. There is an um, in this temperature. Once we will be increase the temperature, means what will happen in this temperature? The molecules will be easily fastly moving. The moving is called kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. So the temperature will be increased as soon as the kinetic energy also will be increased in the molecule. So what will happen? One state of this matter is changed to other state of the matter. So that is the reason. Temperature will be changed with the states of matter that may be the solid to the liquid and the liquid to the gas or gas to the solid. All the three types of matter, states of the matter can change to any other states of the matter because of the temperature. The temperature is very important. Once the kinetic energy will be increased in the molecules, automatically the molecules can be moved or the molecules can be changed states of matter. I told you what are the reason the states of matter could take change in the one state to the other state that is temperature. So here in the temperature later melting point, the ice cubes is a solid thing. If it is in outside atmosphere, because of the temperature it will become to melt. I told you, then it becomes the liquid. So here, what is the temperature? Which temperature is make the solid to become the liquid? Next state of the matter. That temperature is called melting point. So the temperature which which a solid melts to liquid state is called melting point. For example, ice is there now. Ice cube. Zero degrees Celsius. If we keep in a freeze, then only it becomes the liquid. So Melting point of the ice cube is 0 degree Celsius. This is the melting point of the ice cube. So, 0 degree Celsius, if we go under, then only the ice cube becomes to melt and it will become to the liquid. The ice cube becomes to water. So, what is the melting point of the ice? Ice means 0 degree Celsius. So, like that, one more uh, temperature is the, that is the boiling point. The same thing. Which is the temperature is change the solid to the liquid once it be start to boil you that is called boiling point. Water having the boiling point always at boiling point Celsius. So once we give 100 degrees Celsius of the temperature for the water, then only it will start to boil. That is a Boiling point. There are two types of types of temperatures in that one is the boiling point and the melting point. This is extreme level 100 degrees Celsius boiling point. Then only the liquid starts to boil and it will become to vapor. So that's also the states of changes of matter. And here the melting point is which is the temperature it will be changed the states of solid to liquid that is called melting point. Here in the boiling point, which is the temperature, is changes the liquid to the water vapor or any other substance, any other states of the matter to other states of the matter in the under degree Celsius that is called boiling point. So these are the temperatures are very important to change the states of matter. Children, today we discuss about the states of matter and different states of the matter, how to take up the matter. That is solid, how it be changed to the liquid, and liquid, how it be changed to the gases. So, because of the temperature, it will be changed, it can be able to change the states of matter. In the related topics, the melting and the boiling point, we discuss about that, and I have explained you what are the characteristics of the all the three states of the matter that is solid means what is the shape of it, is it the shape or not, or is it the weight or is it the uh, compressibility, you know, that are the characteristics of the uh, states of matter like that. All the three states of the matter, we discuss about the characteristics and melting point and boiling point, how it is important to change the states of matter. Till in that, we discuss about it that. Today's segment, uh, what are the states of the matter and give examples. All the three states of the matter, you have to mention with the examples. 
you can give the enough of examples for that whatever you understand and whatever you know about the solids you can write it and you can give the examples for that next what are the characteristics of all the three states of the matter so what are the characteristics i explain to refer the textbook and you can get the answers right neatly in the assignment book submit in the office book